Blackboard. Today is the 24th day since 2019 has begun. How many of you have had a resolution? Great. How many of you have kept that resolution alive till date? That's really nice. Good afternoon, dear Toastmasters and guests. Good afternoon. I even had a resolution to reduce my weight. It was during my high school days that I felt I was bloating. Dresses weren't fitting, and I could not control on my food habits. But I had to, con I had to cut off my weight. I thought I will start off with simple exercises. Mustering all the confidence in me, I told my mom, Mama, Wake me up by 6 in the morning, okay? I will start exercising from tomorrow. The next morning, when my compassionate mother tries to wake me up half an hour past the set time, Geeta, wake up at 6.30. What? It's 6.30 and you're waking me up so early, mom. You idiot. You had decided to work out from today. Hearing this, but not willing to leave my bed, I said, Amma, I'll do it from tomorrow. Please let me sleep for some more time. And this habit, I had to give up even before initiating it. A few days later, I happened to read a recipe in newspaper. And the recipe was such. A glass of hot water, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of honey in it. Highly excited about the early morning drink, I woke up. Day one, I prepared the drink all by myself. I'm sure the ones who have tried this drink would know how awful the drink would taste. Unwillingly, I drank it sip by sip. Mission accomplished. But wait, the digestive system rejected the drink and pushed it forcefully out of my mouth. <laughs> to put that in simple words, I took the whole drink. Convincing myself that nothing is possible in just one day, I would give a try the next day as well. <coughs> day two, I prepared the drink. <coughs> I poured the whole drink into the sun. Though my mind worried calculating the wastage, my heart was contented for its zero percent usage. And that way, I gave up that habit too. My mom had a habit of going for an early morning walk. And she does that till day. One morning, she asked me to go along with her to the park. I went. While she walked briskly, she asked me to go around the park for five times. And this was how I was dressed that day. A t-shirt, a track pant, and Slippers. Looking at my footwear, I asked, Mom, are you asking me to run with these slippers? She said, take off your slippers and run. Without uttering the next word, I ran with the slippers. First run. Oof. Second run. Oof. Third run. Oof. I turned out to be an adamant elephant who refused to take even the next step forward. And the next morning, when she, before even she tried waking me up, I being prompt child said, Amma, I'm not coming today. And the following day was a Sunday. The day which everybody under the sun gets to sleep till it's late in the morning. And I gave up that habit too. My mom was frustrated. She made a very strong argument. She made a very strong statement that day. And she was brutally honest. She said, Geeta, if you're planning to work out on your fitness, make sure that you never stop it. But if you're planning to start it now and stop it sometime later, you better don't think about starting it even. Remember, if you start now and stop it sometime later, you will put on unnecessary weight. This very statement by her shook me off. The next day morning, I woke up early morning at 6, all by myself, and started working out. 
I made it a habit. I started this habit that day and I continue to follow it rigorously even today. Dedicating one complete hour solely for my workout. We see many of them join gym and they just quit so easily. Just within a couple of months or even days. It takes a lot of courage for them to even give that commitment to the gym. Now, why did I narrate the story of my fitness? To let you all know how fit and fine I am? No. But it's a derivation which enlightens on a thought that it takes a lot of courage and dedication for a person to be committed in life. I have strived hard to keep up my promise with respect to my fitness. I have likewise I have also given my commitment towards the role I had taken as Vice President Education for this club. And that commitment encouraged me to take up the role outside as a club coach, as I have mentioned, and I am enjoying that thoroughly. My commitment towards the resolution that I make is the backbone for all that I have achieved till day. Dear to us masters, if you are lazy to commit for yourself, to blame others, and that becomes your habit. But if you're strong enough to commit for yourself, your actions speak, and that becomes your power of habit. Toastmaster.